bounced on. Half the middle. Attempted flick on from Ekic. Ash Irwin is there. Now Quilligan to Ergamal. Releases Bryson over on the right. And the crowd start to get excited. Here's Bryson. He's got Galich ahead of the ball, but decides to hold things up with Haywood. Now in comes a deflected cross. Oh, at the near post. It's sliced off the woodwork twice, both posts, and then cleared off the goal line. How did that not go in? Leah Varley saves the day for Melbourne City, but that was nearly an own goal for Taylor Otto. It was, and just a little bit of a possible miscommunication uh, between Pru and, and Otto there. Yes, you might see how it's written on the back of the shirt, but it is pronounced Ergamal. Stott. Slaloming run from Stott. Comes unstuck at the feet of Badawir. Stott goes and retrieves the ball. That was turning back the clock from Rebecca Stott. We have seen that back in the Melbourne City Super Team days. I think back to one of the more recent goals Stott scored. It was against Brisbane Raw. She was just marauding forward from defensive midfield and scored a double that day. And basically is a, a player who's very good at taking responsibility when the situation calls for it. She is, and as you can see, um, she's able to slay them through uh, the Mariners' de defenders there. She's um, confident in possession, and, and, and she's actually a player who can help break this, this deeper block down by those moments. Chance here, though. Open space, and Ekic, Policina, Wilkinson, they're queuing up. Ball off the crossbar. Policina hits the woodwork, and Melbourne City, the width of the crossbar away from opening the scoring. Defender trying to turn winger here, but the cross is immediately blocked away. Ergamal kicks to clear. Roller Badawia is away. This is the chance for the Mariners. The long loping strides of Roller Badawia. Otto gets goal side. Badawia cuts onto the preferred left foot. And it's blocked away once. Ergamal. Now Gallage saved by Prue. And so now Bryson will drive forward again. Gaps opening here for the Central Coast. Galich in at the near post and just didn't have the bend. Whether that was a shot or it was attempting a low cross, it didn't twist back towards the oncoming attackers. And Liz Pru is able to hold the ball. Off the back of the head of Policina, Quilligan, Gomez. Surveys all the options and then trying to thread the eye of the needle. Intercepted by Chinema. Oh, really physical stuff from Galich. Sense Hughes sprawling. And there'll be an apology here. Pretty sure those two would have been teammates at Canterbury United a couple of years ago. And so there's no further acrimony. Yeah, look, it comes in um, a little bit heavy-handed there with Hughes, but as you can see, she picks her up and, and both players just uh, get on with it. Gee, our angle made that look a, a little bit uh, sneakier than maybe the first look. There was the outstretched forearm, but... Still no bookings in the game. Play continues, and here goes Gomez sliding it through. Badawir, this will sit up for Badawir's left foot. A chipped finish. Brilliant goal. Roller Badawir puts the Central Coast Mariners in front against Melbourne City. All in celebration for the Mariners. Oh, they, they've come out at the start of this half, and, and I think um, controlled most of the, the momentum, and they've, they've been rewarded for it. Badawir, home fans, chanting, wanting more. Ergamal with Haywood to aim for, and Galich in the box. Numbers start to arrive. Badawir at the near post in an acre of space. And spins, follows up, and it's off the line again. Prue got a touch. Here's the shot blocked away. Gomez denied. And now Wardlow flicking it over the top. Melbourne City's defensive stand not done yet. Chinema finally finds the safety of the touchline, but... Again, luck's a fortune for Melbourne City that it wasn't 2-0. Oh, and it, once again, fantastic goalkeeping by um, Pru. Um, you can see she makes the, the double save there, and um, eventually uh, I think it looks like it's, it's Stott who has to clear that ball. It's been an uncharacteristically uh, quiet game from Rihanna Policina. She's normally in the thick of things for this Melbourne City team, but they're just struggling to play her into advantageous positions. Yeah, it certainly has. And we know that whenever uh, Mini's on the ball, good things happen for Here's City. Here's a chance for Ekic. Ekic just wide. Nearly caught the angle spot on aiming for that bottom corner. And it's a let off for the Mariners. As Amina Ekic misses the target. McKenna. Hughes not quite between the lines just yet. Ekic from wide. 
And seemingly not on the same page as Stott, but they can still get a throw in. And I think a, a big issue for this City side is um, players are just a little bit static in this build-up. Here goes Stott getting closer and closer to the penalty area. Incredible! Melbourne City equalise in style. And Rebecca Stott has done so with a peach of a goal. Crossfield pass. Grosso. Spinning out to the left. Chinema. Chinema hangs it up over the head of Wilkinson. And it's two for Melbourne City. But it won't count. Amina Ekic was offside. And the celebrations are halted.